Hi everyone, welcome to the channel. I hope each and one of you is having a great day. Today we'll be looking at this problem called clone graph. We are given a reference of a node in a connected undirected graph and we need to return a deep copy clone of the graph. Each node in the graph contains a value int and a list list node of its neighbors. All right, so here we have an example of this graph. One, two, three, four. And now a little tidbit about deep copy. And so for deep copy, we want to return a copy of our existing object, but each of the elements needs to be a new object. So we see that this is a graph, and the graph consists of four nodes. And so we look here, we have this class node, which means once we're given this graph, we need to make four new nodes, one, two, three, four, with the same exact neighbors. So that's just a brief description of the deep copy. Now to do this, we can take our starting node, let's say following this example right here, let's say that you know, we start with node one, we start with node one and we do breadth first search. As we do breadth first search, we put on the neighbors. And as we get the neighbors, we check if we have already made the node. And if we have not made the node, then we create the node. And we use a hash map where the value is the key. And then the node itself is the value. So example is, with the starting node, our hash map is empty. But then we know it's a deep copy, so we'll need to make the first node. So the key would be 1, and then it gets node 1. Now, when we do BFS, we look at the neighbors of 1, and we see that BFS, we also have a queue. So at first, it used to be one in here, then we pop it, and then we get node one, and node one's not in the hash map, so we create it, and now we put it into the hash map. Then we put the neighbors, which is two and four, and we continue the process. Once we have two, we check if two is in the hash map, and it's not. So then we create, we create the two node, And then we put the neighbors of two onto the queue. And then likewise, we continue with four. And we see four is not in the hash map, so then we create four. So on and so forth. Now, yeah, that's the main idea. So let's write out in words how to do that. So the first thing is couple of base cases graph is empty we will return that now if the graph is not empty we initialize the queue and then the next thing is we create this node because it's a deep copy. And then initialize hash map. Put the root in hash map. And then we do BFS. Now under BFS, we continue Q is not empty. So we take the first element, take the first element from the queue, and then we check if it's in the hash map. Well, before we check if it's in the hash map, we check if something's in the queue, it's already in the hash map because well, starting with the first reference node, we 
create that node, and then we put it into the queue. So we'll keep that consistent. And so the first thing is we iterate neighbors because it's possible that the neighbors have not been created yet. And then check if if neighbor in hash map. So if it's not, if the neighbor is not in hash map, the neighbor is not in hash map, then we will create the node. And we will also add this node to the hash map. Key is valid, and valid is the node neighbor. Then we append node neighbor, or the original node. Then the original node to the queue. After all this is done, we add the neighbor node to current.neighbors, current node. Now we see here that the node class, it has a self.neighbors. So in the current iteration, we will add the neighbors to the current node. So we'll check if node is none, then we return none. Initialize key with node. Wait, there's yeah, and initially we'll use node.value and we will not have any neighbors because we just have the first node. Now initialize the hash map. And we put the root inside hash map. Now for BFS, we continue while the queue is not empty. Use link to check if the queue is empty. Then we take the current element. And we kick out the first. And we check if it's in the hash map. So we look at this class to see how to make a new node up here. And you see we put a value in the neighbor, so. Initially, we don't know what the neighbors are. Then we add the node to the hash map. Using the node as the key. And we append to the queue. The original node. That way we just have the neighbors and then add the neighbors to the current node. So the current node will be the key, then we get the neighbors to right here, neighbors. Right, it's the current node that we're adding the current neighbor to. root and it is none return none q is none 
Okay, wir kürzen die Linie wieder da, da. Schnapp, Herr Schnappend. Gut. Oh, da sind die Signale alle gezählt. Spawn die Linie. Processing the rest. Pop out the first. Iterate the neighbors. If the neighbor in current is zero. I not in hash map, yes. Just a bit. Yeah, it's not in the hash map, it's gonna create the node. New node equals node at dot now. Hash map with I is the new node. And then we append the original node, original neighbor node to the queue, so map I. Then the current element, current node, we append the neighbor. We append the pointer to the neighbor. So that syntax here. All right. Now I this the. It looks like we have issues. Awesome. So let's submit. Now we can talk about runtime for a little bit. So the node has a bunch of vertices. Let's say we have v vertices in the graph. Sorry, and then the graph has v number of vertices. So when we do BFS, each element. Each node is on the queue at most once. And then the next thing is you iterate through the neighbor. So O of V squared, because you need to iterate through each of the vertices and then you iterate through the neighbors. In the worst case is every single vertice is a neighbor of all the other vertices. Yeah, so that's a runtime. Space complexity. We have the the worst case is O V where where one node can have all the vertices as a neighbor. So yeah, we're done talking about runtime and space complexity. Hope you guys all had fun and learned as well. If you like this comment, please share it with other people that will enjoy this. And follow me on social media if you would like more content and updates. Thanks so much and enjoy the rest of your day.